the competition tribunal has put in an approval for the JSE to acquire a majority stake in Link Market Services. The acquisition of the shares registry firm will cost the JSE 224 million uh, rand. So the deal is subject to conditions, of course. So joining us to unpack the details of the merger is Leila Fari, the group CEO of the JSE. Uh, Leila, just give us an idea. I mean, you've just um, lashed out 225 million rand on this company. Uh, what, what's the thinking behind it? So uh, we are looking to diversify our revenue away from the transactional type revenue that we see in the trading engine and to do that in areas that are adjacent to uh, the business of the exchange. And so we've invested um, into a share registry, which is effectively a company that will provide us with annuity income and it is uh, well entrenched within our skill set. And how, how is it, um, how are we going to notice the difference? You know, people who are listed on the exchange, people who use, who trade on the exchange, how are they going to notice the difference uh, if, when this uh, deal is approved? So we hope to make a difference in the transfer secretary business particularly. Um, any listed entity on the exchange has to have a register of their customers. Those, um, that register has to be managed by a company, and Link is the, one of the companies that manages these registers. Uh, Link uh, will also be processing uh, dividends, corporate actions, etc. What we hope to get out of the transaction is to improve technology, to automate and improve the service levels that we get. We hope to manage pricing very uh, competitively uh, based on efficiency. And uh, we are also uh, buying into a company which is DVD level two, uh, which is a tremendous advantage for those companies that use um, uh, that use Link. So the transfer secretary business is uh, a uh, an interesting and uh, an important business that um, is undergoing tremendous transformation and digitization. And we're very excited to be able to um, uh, to do that. Um, a, along with uh, a number of other uh, products and services that we offer within the JSC, like training to, uh, to the uh, issuers and training to um, the uh, end shareholders. Now, the, the market volatility that we've seen over the last six months during COVID-19 <coughs> has been immense. Um, in some ways, it's, it's sort of bolstered revenues. We've seen a lot of uh, shares going up on, on the JSC during these difficult times. But on the other side... Uh, a lot of the listings pipeline has slowed down heavily since COVID-19. How could this uh, merger make a difference in that? Well, um, the, way, uh, the way in which the merger will make a difference is that we are looking to um, augment our yeah. revenue and to effectively split our assets. So our fixed cost base will be spread across a much bigger revenue line. Um, we will not be as reliant on the transactional revenue as we are right now. And we hope that that would help us um, to continue to drive efficiency across the business. And uh, as I say, we've seen uh, the storms far from over with COVID-19. We've seen uh, one or two uh, delistings in the property space uh, in the last few weeks. In the fourth quarter, do you think you're going to see more companies delisting before things turn around? Look, it's very difficult to, uh, to, to say uh, how companies are going to react. What we can say is that those companies that are under cash flow pressure will continue to uh, potentially uh, experience uh, cash flow pressures as a result of the real economy uh, uh, difficulties that they're facing. Um, we have had more than 19 companies capital raising, some of which are just bolstering their balance sheet and others that are on an acquisition trail. Um, the large cap stocks have largely uh, rebounded uh, almost completely. So our top 40 is now in positive territory relative to um, uh, last year this time. And that is quite significantly ahead of the UK, uh, which is currently minus, uh, uh, sitting at around minus 20. Our, our our uh, 
a rebounding trajectory is much more aligned with the U.S. Uh, market, which we've seen has has completely rebounded. So it's difficult to say. It's very much um, the recovery of the economy, which could translate into impact on listed entities. It's very much dependent on whether we see a second wave. It's dependent on how the fiscal stimulus is administered and whether it gets into the hands of those smaller, less liquid companies um, that it should. And it's also a function of developed world 